हेलो एवरी वन आई एम नमिता अमृतकर वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन अबेदा इनामदार सीनियर कॉलेज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर फाइव एक्सेस कंट्रोल इंट्यूशन डिटेक्शन एंड फायर वॉल इन दिस सेशन वी हैव टू कवर द टॉपिक इंट्यूशन डिटेक्शन सिस्टम इंट्यूशन प्रिवेंशन सिस्टम ओवर व्यू ऑफ फायर वॉल types of firewall and features of firewall now let's learn intuition detection system a uh, intuition detection system monitor your network for possible dangerous activity including malicious act violation of security protocol when such a problem is detected an intuition detection system alert the administrator but does not necessarily take any other action it is a software application that scan a network or a system for a harmful activity any malicious venture or violation is normally reported either to administrator or collected centrally using a security information and event management system which is also called siem now let's learn the classification of intuition detection system it can be divided into five types network intuition detection system host intuition detection system protocol based intuition detection system fourth one is a application protocol based intuition detection system and the last one is a hybrid intuition detection system okay now learn the network intuition detection system the network intuition detection system are set up at a plan point within the network to examine the traffic from all device on the network it perform an observation of passing traffic on the entire subnet and matches the traffic that is passed on the subnet to the collection of known attack once an attack is identified or abnormal behavior is observed the alert can be sent to the administrator the second one is a host intuition detection system it run on independent host or a device on the network The host intuition detection system monitor the incoming and outgoing packet from the device only and will alert the administrator if suspicious or malicious activity is detected. It takes a snapshot of existing system files and compares it with the previous snapshot. The if the identical system files were edited or deleted an alert is sent to the administrator. Protocol based intuition detection system this one uh, compromise of system or agent that would consistently reside at the front end of a server controlling and interpreting the protocol between a user device and the server it is trying to secure the web server by regularly monitoring the http protocol stream and accept the related http protocol the fourth one is the application protocol based intuition detection system it is a system or agent that generally reside within a group of a server it identify the intuition by monitoring and interpreting the communication on application specific protocol the last one is hybrid intuition detection system hybrid intuition detection system is made by the combination of two or more approaches of the intuition detection system in the hybrid intuition detection system host agent or a system data is combined with network information to develop a complete view of the network system hybrid intuition detection system is more effective in comparison to other intuition detection system now we learn a intuition prevention system it is an active protection system like the ids it attempt to identify potential threat based upon monitoring the feature of a protected host or network the intuition prevention system often sits directly behind the firewall provides a complementary layer of analysis that negatively select for dangerous content unlike the preceder of the intuition detection system which is a passive system that scan traffic and report back on the thread the ips is placed in line communication path between source and actively analyzing and taking automated action on all traffic flow that entire the network specially this action include sending an alarm to the administrator dropping an malicious packet blocking traffic from the source address resetting the connection all this activity will done by the uh, intuition detection system as an inline security component the ips must work effectively to avoid degrading network performance it must also work fast because exploit can happen in near real time the ips must also detect the respond accurately so as to estimate thread and false positive uh, 
positive ligament packet misread as the thread. The main difference between the intuition detection system and the intuition prevention system is that IDS is used to monitor a network which then send alert when suspicious event or a system or network are detected. Okay, and IPS react to attack in progress with the goal of preventing them from reaching the targeted system and network. While IDS and IPS both have the ability to detect the attack, the main difference is in their response to an attack. Now let's learn about the firewall. A firewall is a network security device that monitor and filter incoming and outgoing network traffic based on an organizational previously established security policies. We can also say that it is a type of cyber security tools that is used to filter traffic on a network. A firewall can be used to separate network node from external traffic sources, internal traffic sources or even specific application. The primary goal of a firewall is to block malicious traffic request and data packet while allowing legument traffic through. We can also say that a firewall acts as a gatekeeper. It monitors items to gain access to your operating system and block unwanted traffic or unrecognized sources. It is also act as a barrier or filter between your computer and another network such as the internet. It helps to protect your network and information by managing your network traffic. Firewall types can be divided into several different categories based on their general structure and method of operation. Here we learn about the main 8 types of firewall, packet filtering firewall, circuit level, uh, level gateway, stateful inspection firewall, application level gateway, next generation firewall, software firewall, hardware firewall, cloud firewall. Now let's learn one by one. Packet filtering firewall. It is the most basic and oldest type of firewall architecture. Packet filtering firewall basically create a checkpoint at a traffic router or a switch. The firewall perform a simple check of the data packet coming through the router, inspecting the information such as the destination and origi origination of IP address, packet type, port number and other surface level information without opening up the packet to inspect its content. If the information of packet does not pass the inspection, it is dropped. The good things about this firewall is that they are not, they are not very resource intensive. This means that they don't have a huge impact on system performance and are relatively simple. However, they are also relatively easy to bypass compared to firewall with more robust inspection capabilities. Next one type is circuit level gateway. As another simplest firewall type that is mean to quickly and easily approve or deny traffic without consuming significant computing resource. Circuit level gateway work by verifying the transmission control protocol handshake. This TCP handshake check is designed to make sure that the session the packet is from the right person. While extremely resource efficient, this firewall do not check the packet itself. So, if a packet held malware but had the right TCP handshake, it could pass right through. This is why circuit level gateway are not enough to protect your business by themselves. A stateful firewall collect data regarding every connection made through it. All of these data points from profiles of safe connection. When a subsequent connection is attempted, it is checked against the list of attributes collected by the stateful firewall. If it has the quality of a safe connection, it is allowed to occur. If not, the data packets are discarded. The data packets contain information about the data within them. A stateful firewall performs packet inspection which check the content of a packet to see if they pose threads. A stateful firewall can also integrate additional services such as encryption of or a tunnel. This boosts performance because they block malicious act actor from reading the content of a communication thereby making the connection safe through access control. However, these firewalls do put more of a strain on computing resource as well. This may slow down the transfer of legitimate packet compared to the other solution. 
The next type is proxy firewall, which is also called application level gateway or cloud firewall. A proxy firewall operate at the application layer to filter incoming traffic between your network and the traffic source. Hence the name application level gateway. These firewall are delivered via a cloud based solution or another proxy device. Rather than letting traffic connected directly, the proxy firewall first establishes a connection to the source of the traffic and inspects the incoming data packet. This check is similar to the stateful inspection firewall in that it looks at both the packet at the TCP handshake protocol. However, proxy firewall may also perform deep layer packet inspection checking the actual content of the information packet to verify that it contains no malware. Once the check is complete and the packet is approved to connect to the destination, the proxy sent its off. This creates an extra layer of separation between the client and the individual device on your network, observing them to create additional anonymity and protection for your network. If there is a one drawback to proxy firewall is that they can create a significant slowdown because of the extra space in the data packet transfer process. Next generation firewall. Many of the most recently released firewall product are being touted as next generation architecture. However, there is not as much consequence on what makes a firewall truly next generation. Some common feature of next generation firewall architecture include deep packet inspection, TCP handshake check and surface level packet inspection. Next generation firewall may include other technology as well such as intuition prevention system that work to automatically stop attack against your network. The issue is that there is no one definition of next generation firewall so it is important to verify what specific capability such a firewall sh shall have before investing in one. Software firewall includes any type of firewall that is installed on a local device rather than separate piece of hardware. The big benefit of a software firewall is that it is highly useful for creating defense in depth by isolating individual network endpoint from one another. However, maintaining individual software firewall on different device can be difficult and time consuming. Furthermore, not every device on a network may be compatible with a single software firewall, which may mean having to use several different software firewall to cover every aspect. Next firewall is hardware firewall. Hardware firewall use physical appliances that act in a manner similar to traffic router to intercept a data packet and traffic request before they are connected to the network server. Physical appliances based firewall like this excel at prim perimeter security by making sure malicious traffic from outside the network is intercepted before the company's network endpoint are exposed to risk. The major weakness of a hardware based firewall however is that it is often used for inside attack to bypass them. Also the actual capabilities of hardware firewall may vary depending on the manufacturer. Some may have more limited capacity to handle the si simultaneous connection than other. The last firewall is cloud firewall. Whenever a cloud solution is used to deliver a firewall, it can be called a cloud firewall or a firewall as a service. A cloud firewall are considered synops with proxy firewall by many since a cloud server is often used in a proxy firewall setup. The big benefit of having cloud based firewall is that they are very easy to scale with your organization as your uh, needs grow you can add additional capacity to the cloud server to filter larger traffic loads. Thank you.